Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Universal Studios Japan and I am so excited. I've always wanted to come visit this park ever since I heard they have the Jaws ride that used to be at Universal Studios Orlando and today is the day. We traveled from Tokyo, we took a two hour bullet train down to Osaka and I am so excited to share all of my experiences with you. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Universal Studios Japan kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's still blowing my mind the fact that we are in Osaka and we just came from Tokyo. And this is going to be my third Universal Studios I've ever been to. Of course, Universal Studios Orlando, Universal Studios Florida, and now Universal Studios Japan. And look at my hotel here in Osaka. They have a nice little Zen garden right like on the 16th floor. Like we are in the middle of the city and I love it. I was so excited to wear my Jaws Roosevelt shirt because we're going to ride Jaws today, uh, but I need to have a hoodie on because it is so cold. Like it is like, I think probably 32 degrees out right now and there's a lot of wind and I wasn't expecting that. I thought Japan was hot, you know, but I guess this is the season. So beware if you ever come in March, it might be a little bit cold. We have made it to Universal Studios Japan. Look at this. Wow, I am so excited. Super Nintendo World, this is gonna be great. Jaws has always been one of my all-time favorite movies. In fact, growing up, I used to love watching The Wizard with Fred Savage and the part where him and his brother ran away to Universal Studios and they went and wrote King Kong and stuff like that. Growing up, that was my dream. Believe it or not, uh, I was a Universal Studios like kind of fan before I was a Disney fan. It was a dream to ride Jaws of mine and uh, now it's no longer in Orlando, but we get to do it here in Japan and I am so excited. <laughs> Just like Tokyo Disneyland, they have like their main front area uh, covered. Look at that. We're walking in the park. Holy moly. There are a lot of people here today. Oh, ho, ho. I am so excited. Look at Woody Woodpecker just walking around. Yo, I love that. It's also awesome that it's covered because then the characters can kind of gather here. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I think that's from uh, a sing maybe? Wow. Guys, which way should we go? Oh, here's a little map. We've got the, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to the right, Super Nintendo World, Central Park. Where's Amity? Oh, they have Water World here. Oh yeah, Jaws. All right, there it is. I think we're heading to Jaws, baby. <laughs> we're heading to Jaws. I think the Jurassic Park is sadly closed, the Jurassic Park ride. So they do have like a Pterodon Flyers roller coaster and we should ride that because that looks amazing. But Amity, first stop. If you take a quick look at the wait times, you have like the smaller rides for kids like Elmo and Hello Kitty's Cupcake Dream at 15, 20 minute waits. But then you get into like Jaws 55, Elmo's Bubble Bubble 75, Elmo's Go Go Skateboard 65, Yoshi's Adventure 75, Snoopy 85, Hollywood Dream 120, Mario Kart 110, Despicable Me 110, The Flying Dinosaur 140, Flight of Hippogriff. The flight of Hippogriff is 160 minute wait. Same thing with the Forbidden Journey. That is crazy. Oh my lord, the Hollywood Dream is a 250 minute wait. Look at that. That's that right there, 250 minutes. Holy moly. That's two rides. Two rides is almost the whole time the park is open. It looks like some of the rides you can film on and some of the rides you can't film on. Probably can't film on that ride, but uh, any of the rides that I can't film on, I'll try to find some POV footage to put in for you guys so you can see what the ride is like. And uh, other than that, I mean, we're just gonna ride as many rides as we could today and then probably go out and explore Osaka afterwards. I would love to go ride that, look at that. Mel's driving. That goes front and back. Front and back, yeah, you get to pick between going like the regular way or backwards and they call it the backdrop. The backdrop is at like a 250 minute wait. Oh, 
here at Universal Studios Japan. Mostly they have a lot of great 4D anime like shows and the wait times for those are super long. It's a very popular uh, like kind of uh, show here at uh, Universal Studios Japan. But a couple of rides are closed. Sadly, Jurassic Park the ride and Spider-Man are closed. So we're gonna at least do a couple of rides that I've been like excited for. But I really wish we could have done those two versions because I want to see if they're different. We have made it to Amity Island. Look at this. Look at Jaws there. And I think that's the entrance right behind. Wow. I'm definitely gonna get myself a Jaws churro. Wow, I can't believe it, guys. You have no idea how much this means to me. I'm pretty sure we have an express pass for this because the wait time right now is 75 minutes. Oh my lord, it's right there, guys. It's right there. Look at how awesome. Look at the original VHSs here. Jaws 1, Jaws 2, Jaws 3D. <laughs> Jaws was everything I've ever wanted it to be. I was <laughs> honestly in tears before and afterwards. Like it means that much to me. And I'm so happy that I got to ride it with Steve and Scotty. They're like brothers to me. And it's like, you know, it just makes me happy. It makes me really, really happy. Honestly, it was a dream come true. Now that we can officially say we got to ride Jaws, I think it's time to get something to eat maybe here at Amity Landing. Look at these little chicken nugget like Jaws set here. I love it. It's like a little meal. It comes with chicken nuggets and fries and then I want the Jaws cake. And then some kind of like a hoagie there. It might be a chicken tender sandwich. I love it over here. I think maybe we should play some boardwalk games over there too. I want to win you a shark. Look at that plate. That's too cool. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Look at my meal. I am obsessed. First, for dessert, we got a cream soda, like Swiss roll, and then we've got a little, like, 
pack here. It's like uh, fried chicken, french fries, pancakes, and then shark nuggets. Like actual shark nuggets. And we're sitting right outside the ride. Look at that. This is Jaws. How amazing is that? And we're about to eat shark. <sighs> this is crazy. The shark didn't eat me, so I'm gonna eat the shark. <laughs> I also love how I have a little shark pancake. Look at that. And then this is another dessert that came with it, I think. It's like, I don't know. It's like chum in the water. I don't know. It's like jello, but we'll try it. Uh, first, I think I'm going to dive in to the shark nuggets. These are literally shark meat nuggets. Shark meat nuggets. Like, what is real life? Like, sitting here at Universal Studios Japan, outside of Jaws, wearing a Jaws Roosevelt shirt, about to eat a Jaws kids meal that has shark chicken or shark nuggets. I want to say shark chicken nuggets, but it's just shark nuggets. I don't even know how I got here, but I'm happy I'm able to share my experiences with you. So, here's to the first time trying shark. Oh. Tastes like a chicken nugget to me. Just a little fishier. Yo, yo, these pigeons, they're trying to get my shark nuggets. Yo, back up. Oh, what is wrong with that pigeon? He's got red eyes. I'm not a fan of the shark nuggets. And it's crazy that the shark nuggets are a kid's meal here. And now I'm gonna try into the chicken and pancakes. This is like the regular entree, but look at that chicken. It does not look so good. I bet you it's got a nice little crunch to it. That's good. So far, I have to say, I love that chicken. It's probably the best chicken I've had in Japan. Yo, these, this guy is scaring me. I'm not afraid of the sharks, I'm afraid of the pigeons. And now I gotta get into this cr uh, cream soda Swiss roll here. A little cream soda Swiss roll, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. To Jaws. That's good, solid. Now I want to try the little chum, little Jello chum. I don't hate it. I kind of like it. I really like that cream soda Swiss roll. I'm going in for another bite. Enough of the shark meat business. I think we're gonna move along. But I did like the chicken. I love the fries. I love the pancake. I love the Swiss roll, and I love the Jello. So who can complain? Now I think we're gonna go ride some more rides, and I want to see a show or two, or maybe a parade. <laughs> it is super busy over here in Jurassic Park World. But they do got a black pepper pork rib over there. That sounds pretty good. If I didn't just eat some shark nuggets, I probably would try it. We're gonna make our way into Super Nintendo World now. And I was excited to see that they have a Water World uh, attraction. Looks like the next show time is at 1 p.m. Maybe we'll try to catch that. It's so interesting. All you gotta do is follow the hats to get to Super Nintendo World, I feel like. I wanna get one. I do, I'm gonna get a Toad one. Or Yoshi hat! Yo, what kind of hat would you get? Yoshi, Super Mario? Yoshi, Super Mario. If they have a Lemmy. Oh. Have a, lemmy. a little Lemmy? I think we're gonna have to pump the brakes on Super Nintendo World because we got the, uh, you have to get like reservations and we got an 8 p.m. reservation to go ride uh, the rides inside, but we thought we would still be able to get into the land, like get in the land, but that's not the case. So we have to wait till 8 p.m. tonight just to get into the land and then we can ride the ride. And that is like, uh, like nine hours from now. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, snowing right now. It's snowing in Osaka. I know it was supposed to snow in Tokyo, but it's getting really cold out. So maybe we might have to leave and then come back. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with the flow. You know what I mean? I'm just happy to be here. I, if I don't get into Super Nintendo World, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm at Universal Studios Japan. Look how awesome those balloons are. Oh, I love it. And now it looks like the minions are actually out and about walking around here. I just saw a minion. Oh, there he is. There, oh, there's a couple of them. A couple two tree minions here. A couple two tree four minions over here. Ah, look at that. 
honestly, I just realized that most of the attractions have to be now probably a higher wait time because Jurassic Park, Spider-Man's closed, and you need prior reservations to get in these two lands. So if you just come to Universal, buy a day ticket, you technically can only ride Jaws, uh, the two roller coasters, and then the shows. And that's the only thing open. Oh, and Minion Mayhem. Unless you have advanced reservations for Super Nintendo World and the Wizarding World. So kind of like a little pickle. A little pickle. We're going to make our way down towards New York. I bet you they got a Finnegan's here. I mean, uh, Universal Park without Finnegan's. Uh, I don't even know what that is going to be like. Oh, yeah, there it is. Finnegan's. The lines for food here at Universal Studios Japan are definitely some of the longer lines I've seen. Like, just to get into Finnegan's, it looks like there's probably a 20, 25-minute wait. You know what I mean? Just to sit down and then if you want like popcorn, popcorn's probably the same thing. Like I've noticed there's a lot of, cause they have different flavors of popcorn. Look at that. Ah, Finnegan's. Finnegan's is definitely different here at Universal Studios Japan. It's not like a quick service you can come in and like grab a beer at the bar. You have to sit down and have a nice little cozy booth maybe. It's a lot bigger too, a lot bigger. We decided to find a little spot for the parade. It looks like it's taken or stepping off in just about 20 minutes. And it's so cool because they come around, everyone's sitting, and then they ask them to stand up. And I think it comes out right, right over there. So we got kind of a nice little spot here. I don't even know what parade it is, but I'm sure it's going to be something cool, what, something to do. What character do you think is going to start it off? Ah, uh, Shrek. Shrek. Who do you think is going to start it off? Oh. Woody Woodpecker? Possibly Woody. Maybe it's Fiona. Fiona? We did have a moment before. We made it! Oh, we're on there! Ah, that's us! We're in the parade scene! We're in the parade! I love this. We're in the parade. 
<laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> this is too cool. No limit. Are we just going back to our spots now? Everyone just go back to their spots now. That's cool, see? I love how everyone just goes back now. I never thought I'd see a better parade than magic happens, but let me tell you something. This party's got no limit. I love it. And the Pokemon, and that we were out there? Oh, I love it. I'm literally following the parade. No limit! Oh, oh, oh! Now I think it's time we get something to eat. We were thinking about getting some here at City Walk, but we're in Osaka. You know, I love theme parks, I love Universal Studios, but there's a whole world out there that I want to explore. So I think we're going to leave Universal. We might come back later to go back into Super Nintendo World because we have that 8 p.m. Uh, return time, but the park closes at 9. So uh, we'll see how the day goes. Right now, I want to head to Osaka, get some food, and relax a little. A little relax! We're grabbing a taxi. Ooh, I love these little uh, shams. Like an old school Honda. Look at that. You guys shove gum wrappers in there? I used to do my dad's, yeah. Right? Gum wrappers in the ashtray? Can you ask him if he can play This Party Has No Limit? <laughs> I wonder what's on Spotify. Probably. This Everything's Party on Has oh. No Limit. We just got back to our hotel and I did a quick outfit change. I wanted to swim into something a little bit more warmer because it is cold here. So I put on a flannel and we're, where are we going? Do uh, Doltenberry? Doltenberry. Doltenberry. Oh, it's pretty fancy. It's just a straight walk down. Straight walk down this road here. Wow, look, this is actually covered here too. They make things a little bit easier when it comes to like rain and weatherproofing here. I'm not even sure what we're looking for, but when we come across something. Oh, are you looking at those Kit Kats? Sure am. They're good, I get them at Epcot all the time. Sure am. I get them at Epcot all the time. This is so crazy, look at this. It's like if Times Square had a river running through it. Like, <laughs> it's pretty, oh, is that Spider-Man right there? Oh, we are officially in, yeah, this is definitely <laughs> Times Square. This is impressive. I would love to go on that boat. I'd like to go on a scenic tour of Osaka. I think we're going to get some food along the water here. Look at that big Ferris wheel. Yo, wait, that's not the same Ferris wheel. That's like a rounder. I don't even know what that is, guys. What? Yeah, it's like a Ferris U. It's a Ferris Oval. Osaka. A Ferris Oval. Osaka cheese dog. Osaka cheese dog? Ah, yo, I love it here. I am obsessed. This is really, really cool, especially with the water right here. Are we shooting arrows? I would if you want to. Yes, I would love to. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, this is cool. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has got to get in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I okay. Yes. Oh, nice! Nice! 
Who did that? See? Me, you son of a gun. Or son of an arrow. <laughs> you son of an arrow! Son of a Robin Hood. Woo, that didn't count though. Yo, Steve, why are you so good at this? Uh -huh. Honestly, you don't know. Anybody want to get up there with an apple on their head? Yeah, I did it! You gotta, you, you, the key is pulled back way further. Hold on, wait, hold on. Use your thumb to guide it. Like this, like that, I see. Yeah. The rest of your thumb, like here. Is that? Yeah, like literally. Right, yeah. I got it again! Okay. A little too strong, fella. Oh! Oh, fuck, okay. Did you break it? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. This guy. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. I guess when somebody asks me, do you have any secret talents, I guess I could say bow and arrow. You are. That's a good talent. Ninja are those Chinese stars? stars? Let's go upstairs. Come on. <laughs> We're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no way! What is it? How does it work? Yeah, man. Wow. Wow. Let it go higher. Oh. Oh! Wow! Wow, I stick at this. I got one. What ninjas? Three ninjas. The three ninjas. Wow. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Honestly, I love, I love it. <laughs> the three ninjas. Thank you. Arigato. That was so much fun. Literally shooting bow and arrows and throwing Japanese stars. I didn't think that was on my bucket list for today, but I'm glad we did it. That's it, that's the spot. We found a spot to come get some ramen. Look at it in here. This restaurant is called Ichiran, and a lot of people have said that it's very, very good, and there's a lot of social media buzz around it. Uh, so I'm excited to try it, and it's kind of cool how they have the setup where you kind of go in, you fill out the paperwork, and then they open up the curtains and they just give you the food. And uh, I've seen the videos. I'm sure you guys have stumbled upon it like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool to kind of have some really good Japanese food while we're here. You have to fill out this little paper, and it basically gives you a recommended of how you want it. I just went medium with everything because, I don't know, I'm just going to take it off the chef's recommendations. That's the way. It's just about a 35 minute wait. You actually pay for everything and order it ahead of time, and then you wait to go to your spot, and then everything's already done for it. Once you're done, you get up and you leave. It's actually really efficient. We thought the line was pretty small, but I think we're going two floors up. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh, I'll set four. There we go. Thank you. You can use these to make requests without speaking. Look at this one. I don't know the ordering process. I'm leaving my seat for a moment. Oh, if you go in the bathroom, put this over here. Oh, I have mine. You hold mine. Oh, yeah. Super dry. Cheers. Cheers to my super dry bros. Super dry. Mm -hmm. 
look at these noodles. Oh my lanta. That looks so good. I'm gonna try to shake it off a little bit. These noodles are the best noodles I've ever had in my life. We already ordered more. Like they have little slips here that you can kind of like order for seconds instead of going back downstairs. It's really convenient. You just hand it uh, right underneath the little counter there and they bring it right out. Very simple, very easy. Look at this, the extra nudes have arrived. Oh my lord. What do you guys think? Best food? Best, it's best food in Japan for me so far. Yeah. That was absolutely hands down the best food I've had on this whole entire trip. Those noodles were so good. We ordered two. I ordered another order and devoured it. And now I feel so sluggish. I feel so heavy right now. Like it's ridiculous. The weight of the world is in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna keep walking around, but I'm telling you, I don't know how. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I can't look at food. I can't look at food. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta try at least one. Some street food? Dessert. Yeah, let's find a dessert. I could use a sweet treat. I could use a sweet treat. <laughs> and with that. I think we are done here today. I had so much fun in Osaka. We never ended up going to uh, Universal Studios. We're going back to Universal Studios Japan uh, to do Super Mario World. Only because, like I said, it got so late. And, uh, you know, it's something that I really wish I could have done. But uh, I am going to be making my way back to Tokyo soon. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Star Wars Celebration is just around the corner for 2025. And it is in uh, Japan. It's Star Wars Celebration, so I uh, hope to be there, and I figured I'd make a couple more videos uh, when I go back out. Uh, with that, I think I'm done with my trip, uh, actually, in whole. I was going to make another video going back to Tokyo from Osaka, uh, but, you know, I was just like, you know what, I, I kind of just want to relax. I just wanted to sit down, relax, and enjoy the leftover of the trip, but honestly, I had so much fun. Being able to just come out and visit Disneyland, uh, go to Disney Sea, and Universal Studios Japan was amazing. But experiencing the culture, the food, the shopping, the areas, like the cities, I am, I love it. Like honestly, this is so amazing. I can't believe how clean everything is, especially in Tokyo and Osaka. Like there is so much. Like there's no public, there's no public trash cans. You keep your own trash. Like you literally carry around a bag full of your trash because you can't throw it away like on the street and it, it just blows my mind honestly i hope you guys enjoyed these videos because i'm gonna look back at these hopefully when i'm older and just be thankful for the life that i've lived you know what i mean like i'm gonna hang on to these moments forever and i just am so honored that i can make videos that you know you guys can watch and give some entertainment and just show you what it's like kind of traveling around so I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you enjoyed Disneyland, uh, Tokyo Disneyland, Disney Sea, Universal Studios Japan, and I guess uh, I'll see you guys back in Florida. Back in Florida. I can't wait to go see Gracie. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.